Hey everybody, Indiana Magnum again. Now what I'm doing today, or this evening, is I'm picking wild grapes. Yeah. These grow just about everywhere around here in Ontario. And there's all kinds of things you can do with these grapes. You can make wine out of them. You can, um, you can make jellies and jams. Kind of hard to pick. I've only been picking for a couple minutes and I got quite a few. There's tons of them around here. Excuse the bad camera work, but it's kind of hard to pick stuff and uh, use the camera at the same time. Here's some. Sometimes I pick these too and I just give them to my pigs. And my pet pigs, they really they really like the grapes. Now some people don't care for them because they're they're pretty sour compared. Oh, thanks for the hearts. Love hearts. And, uh, oh yeah, and if you can uh, share me on Twitter too, that's great. Uh, I think you just swipe to the side to share on Twitter. That's if you like the broadcast, of course. Um, as I was saying, some people don't like wild grapes because they're uh, a little bit sour. So uh, for a lot of people's taste, you need to add quite a bit of sugar. At least they're sour compared to um, compared to domesticated grapes. And of course, they're a lot smaller, so they uh, they're kind of uh, to the pick but assuming you're picking them like me out in the country where you know nothing has been sprayed they are 100% free of you know pesticides and oh there's a whole bunch up there pesticides and all that stuff they're pretty much organic I guess you'd say they're not certified organic, but they're certified by Mother Nature. And uh, I don't mind them just on cereal. You know, you're having your raisin bran or something in the morning, your cornflakes. Put a few wild grapes on there, a little bit of sugar. Nature, Mother Nature at its best. Oh, knocked my bucket over, but I didn't spill any. You can also eat the leaves. Um, I don't tend to do that, but you can you can uh, preserve them if you're uh, interested in that, or if it's you know. Uh, I guess, you know, if it's a zombie apocalypse and you're looking for every food source you can, there's all kinds of things you can do with grape leaves. Right there. So anyway, well, I'm going to keep picking. I'll shut the broadcast down because, like I say, it's awfully hard to pick grapes and work a camera but if you're interested in uh, more of this kind of outdoor stuff check out my blog indianamagnum.blogspot.com kind of all kinds of stuff there about prepping and preserving and food storage and edible wild plants and all that kind of stuff so check it out
and I'll uh, sign off for now. Thanks, everybody.